The majority of Americans want Obamacare repealed, but the liberal media continue to promote it. They're pushing a left-wing agenda and calling it news. It's time the liberal media tell the truth. Go to tellthetruth2010.org and join the fight. Good afternoon. It is Veterans Day, Thursday, November 11th, 2010. I'm Eric Shiner with Right Now on CNSNews.com. And since it is Veterans Day, we'll start with a look at a veterans issue. According to a proposal from the President's Fiscal Commission, American veterans would have to cover at least a portion of their own medical costs. The National Commission on Fiscal Responsibility and Reform released its draft report yesterday claiming that having veterans pay for non-combat related medical problems instead of the government would save $700 million by 2015. Fred Lucas has all the details in his report. America's veterans have fought for many of our rights, including religious freedom. But certain religions seem to be getting more attention than others from the Oval Office. The president and Mrs. Obama toured a controversial mosque in Indonesia yesterday. But here's something interesting. If you review White House reports, Obama apparently has not visited a synagogue since becoming president. The White House not responding to inquiries on whether the president has visited any synagogue. Some Jewish leaders say visiting a synagogue doesn't fit the president's agenda. Find out more by checking out our article. On another religious note, there may be a million prayers on the way for Senator Jim DeMint. The Conservative Family Research Council has launched an initiative to gather one million Americans to pray on a regular basis for the senator. FRC President Tony Perkins says the call to prayer follows attacks on DeMint's character in the aftermath of last Tuesday's election. Susan Jones has the details in her article. Another one of the rights our veterans have fought for is our pursuit of happiness. A lot of you think that being the richest man in America, you probably wouldn't have too much to complain about. Well, CEO and Chairman of Microsoft Bill Gates has some gripes with capitalism and its systemic problems. You know, capitalism does amazing things, but it has one systemic problem in terms of research that it won't do enough. It has another systemic problem in that the needs of the poorest will not be prioritized the way they would if you put a more human values driven system in. But that's where he believes government should come in. Nicholas Ballacy has the details. And we hope you enjoy your freedom to click around and get informed. Have a great Veterans Day right now on CNSNews.com.